here's a secret. Regardless of how amazing your home is, how many updates you've done, how much money you've spent on staging, not everybody is going to want to buy your house. And that's okay. Everyone has different needs, different goals, and they may be at different stages in their lives. It's kind of like pizza. Everyone loves a good pepperoni pizza. Okay. But some people want something a little different. Someone might be into pineapple on their pizza. Someone might like olives and mushrooms. Or like this guy over here, the super deluxe meat lover's pizza. And that's okay. Better than okay. <laughs> and your topping tastes may change over time. You may be a meat lover guy or a deluxe guy. But over time, you might realize you want something a little less meaty so let's take your analogy jenny to the residential real estate market okay not everyone's looking for the same thing that's right a first-time home buyer with no kids is not looking for that large suburban home with three bedrooms two bathrooms double car garage on the other hand a large family of five would never look at a 600 square foot condo downtown they just wouldn't another point too We've had properties listed that has or that have a very large workshop. It's going to be attracting those handy people that may want the workshop. Make sure that workshop is staged. Different people, different needs, different stages of life. If you go too far in staging, neutralizing your home, removing all of the character and trying to appeal to all of the masses out there, you risk not even appealing to your target buyer. So before you pick up a paintbrush, pack away your family photos and revamp your home to list it, ask yourself one very important question. That question, Jenny, is quite simple. Who's buying your home? The answer could very well surprise you. But maybe it shouldn't be such a surprise. The buyer for your home is you. When you bought it. So the same things that drew you to you to the house when you originally bought it will likely draw the right buyer to it as well. So think back to who you were when you bought the house and what you were looking for, what stage of life you were in, and play up those special features. If you've got an amazing view, then make sure that the, the curtains are open and your furniture placement draws attention to the windows and showcases that view. If you've got amazing cathedral ceilings, make sure that your furniture placement showcases the height and the beauty of that space. Jenny, if I just want to, if I can interject here for a moment, I remember when we had to upsize to our second home because we were expecting another child, mm -hmm. the home we were shopping for needed more space. It needed to be kid friendly. And the one we found had all that. It had a playroom for the kids. It had an outdoor play set and it had a fenced in yard. And it was in a great neighborhood close to great schools. So yes, if that's your target market, that's why you bought your house. Make sure that you have a dedicated play space for the kids to show that it is a family home. Don't pack away all the toys. Make sure that you highlight the reason you love the home. So along that line, when it comes to marketing, this is where you really need to work with your agent. This is where we're going to paint that picture for that buyer targeting that specific buyer so if it's the kid-friendly home that's what we want to put in the description yes and not just the description but even taking it to the next level make sure the photos that represent a kid-friendly home and that even in the social media posts or anywhere else you're doing marketing those features are highlighted working to create a more emotional experience may appeal to a larger pool of buyers in that specific target and could very well translate into more dollars in your pocket. And a happy buyer. So if you'd like more information on staging your home and you want our seven tips for staging your home to sell, click here.